Is Windows 10 giving you trouble? Follow these basic maintenance tasks to keep Windows 10 running smoothly. Number 1. Disk Cleanup One of the best utilities you can use to keep Windows 10 running smoothly is the Disk Cleanup tool. In a search bar, type in Disk Cleanup and you'll see it in the menu. Select that and it comes up with the prompt for what drive you want to clean. Now normally you're going to want the C drive which is your Windows OS. So hit OK there. It comes up with a list of disk locations that you can clear including temporary files, your recycle bin, and a number of other things. Take a look at the size and see which ones you want to clear out. Before we hit OK, we're going to also do this clean up system files and it prompts again for the Windows C drive. Hit OK there. Now this normally takes a few minutes, especially if you haven't run the disk cleanup utility in a long time. So give it plenty of time and it'll eventually come up with a progress bar. It goes through and calculates how much disk space you're going to be able to free up on your Windows C drive. And it's added to the list some Windows OS related things like your previous Windows installation. This can be a rather large amount of disk space and so it's a good idea to clean out your previous Windows installation after you've done an upgrade. You don't need the previous Windows installation unless you're going to restore back to that previous version. And normally you don't need to do that. You can do a backup restore point if you're concerned about losing data. There's nothing in the previous Windows installation that you need going forward. So I'm going to select all the ones that I want and hit OK. It's going to permanently delete these files, so we'll click Delete Files to continue. It warns you that you will no longer be able to restore the machine back to the previous version of Windows because we've selected that box, and that's OK. So hit Yes, and it works through the various files and cleans them out. Again, this can take several minutes depending on the size of the files that you're clearing and it's complete. Number two, System File Scan. The System File Scan utility is a tool that scans for corrupt files on your hard drive. Click on your Start menu, type in CMD, right click on the command prompt in the menu and run it as administrator. It may prompt you to make changes, hit yes, and in the command prompt type in SFC forward slash scan now and hit enter. This process goes through a scan of your system to see if there's any corrupt files and if it finds them it will automatically correct them at that moment. Otherwise it will complete with no errors. Corrupt files can cause all kinds of problems with your Windows system so it's a good idea to run this on occasion. Number three, Windows Update. Another step that's required to keep Windows running smooth is to make sure you've installed all your Windows updates. Click on the Start menu Go to Settings, click on Update and Security, and check for Updates. If there's anything pending here for installation, make sure to complete that and reboot your computer. Any pending updates can interfere with other software, so it's important that you complete them. And if you can't get past the installation for some reason, I do have a video that explains how you get rid of Windows Stuck Updates. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Number 4. Microsoft Store Updates the apps you include from your Microsoft Store will also get updates. If you type Store in the search bar and choose Microsoft Store, that brings you to the app install for Microsoft. Click this menu right here and go to Downloads and Updates and click the Get Updates. This will scan for any updates to those apps you have installed. And it will download any needed updates. So make sure you update all your apps as well. Number five, Microsoft Store Reset. If you have any difficulty opening the Microsoft Store or if it's not installing apps correctly, you can do a reset. Just click on the Start menu, type in CMD, right click on the command prompt and run it as administrator. This brings you to the command prompt. Here type in WS Reset and hit enter. It won't show anything while it's running, but it actually goes through and clears the cache for the Microsoft Store. This will clean up any issues and open the Microsoft Store again. Number six, enable Storage Sense. Storage Sense is a way to optimize your file storage. You can turn this on by going to the Start menu, Settings, System, Storage. 
Turn this on if you want to enable the automatic storage sense optimization. Click here and you can configure it. Check this box if you want to automatically clean up temporary system files. Turn this on if you want your user content cleanup. And then you can set the storage sense to run on an automatic basis only when you have low free disk space or you can schedule it to happen every day, week, or month. As part of this process, you can delete files in your recycle bin on a schedule, delete files in your download folder that haven't been used over a certain period of time, and you can set OneDrive as well. You can run Storage Sense manually too, and it will do all that cleanup for you automatically. It's also a good idea to take a look at this list of all the disk space that's being used by apps, temporary files, and other functions. If you see a large amount of data, you can click on the individual ones and take a look and see what you have in here. If you have a bunch of apps you don't need, remove them and free up that disk space. So if you want to automate some of the cleanup processes, make sure Storage Sense is turned on and configured properly. Number seven, clear browser cache. To keep your browsers running smooth, you can clear out the data history and cache files. Let's take a look at Microsoft Edge. In the upper right corner, select the ellipses menu go to History, Clear Browsing Data. Here you can select the time range you want to clear. I'm going to select All Time, and then you can choose from the different categories of data. Notice here the cached image files are 326 megabytes. Once you've made your selections, choose Clear Now, and it removes that data. In Google Chrome, come up here to the menu, go to More Tools, Clear Browsing Data, and you'll see a similar menu to Microsoft Edge. You can select the time range and you can choose which ones you want to clear. Select clear data and it frees up that disk space as well. For Internet Explorer, come up to the gear icon, go into Internet Options. On the General tab, click Delete and choose your options that you want here as well and hit Delete. Then OK. That clears the cache out of Internet Explorer. You'll have options to clear the cache on other browsers as well. Number eight, optimize drives. As you write and delete files from your hard drives, they can become fragmented. If you go into the start menu, into settings, system, storage, and you scroll down to the bottom, there's an option here for optimize drives. This brings up a list of the hard drives you have in your computer and shows the current status of fragmentation. Solid state drives work a little bit different and they don't get fragmented, but they actually will do a trimming. But if you have a large amount of fragmentation here, you can run the optimization to clean that up. So I'm going to click on the data drive D, choose optimize, and it runs through the process and defragments any fragmented data. You can also change these settings so that it runs automatically on a regular scheduled basis. Number nine, Outlook OST file. As you work with email and Outlook, it stores this data in an offline storage file. You can access it by going to File, Account Settings, Account Settings, and click on Data Files in the list. Here you'll have several different accounts, and you can go into each one and do a compact now to clean up the file size. If you open the file location, it will show you the files that you have and the amount of disk space they're using. You can see here this one's almost 1.2 gigabytes. In order to compact these files, just click on one, go to Settings, Advanced, Outlook Data File Settings, and click Compact Now. That will compress that file. Some accounts are real small, you can just double click on them, go directly to the Compact Now, and hit OK. Occasionally, you'll have a problem where you cannot compact that file or the file becomes corrupt. So if you have difficulty with your OST file, you may need to delete it from that file location. I have another video to resolve offline OST file problems in Outlook, and I'll put a link into the description of this video. Number 10, Flush DNS. The DNS, or domain name system, is how websites are linked to IP addresses, and it stores that data in a local DNS cache. Sometimes that cache can get corrupt, and you may have difficulty accessing certain websites. You can clear the DNS by going into the Start menu, typing in CMD, 
right click on command prompt and run as administrator and in the prompt type ipconfig forward slash flush DNS and hit enter. That will clear the cache and should resolve any issues you have accessing websites. Number 11, startup programs. Another task you should look at on occasion is the programs that start up when you boot your computer. Come down to the time, right click, and go to task manager. Click on startup and take a look through this list to see what things are loading when you boot your computer. Pay particular attention to the startup impact for things that are high. And if there's anything there that you know you don't need, go ahead and disable it by clicking on it and selecting the disable option. This will ensure that you don't have too many things loading when you start your computer. Number 12, security and maintenance. If you go to the search bar and type in security, you can select security and maintenance from the menu. Open that up and go into maintenance and you'll see here that it's set to do automatic maintenance on a scheduled basis every night. You can change the settings here and select whatever time you want them to run. If your computer is shut down, the next time you boot your computer, it will pick a time when your computer is no longer in use to run the maintenance in the background. If for some reason it goes a long period of time without running this, you can select to run it manually. Just come into maintenance and start it. Maintenance is important because it runs Windows updates, does system diagnostics, and will detect any problems that you may be experiencing with your Windows 10 PC. You can view the list of problems by clicking here, and you can select one and go into the details to see what might be causing those problems. But Windows will correct them on its own if you have that set to automatic. Number 13, clear location history. If you go to the start menu, settings, privacy, and select location, you can see that the Windows 10 PC tracks your location information for different apps. It's set by default to allow access to your location and a list of apps is available where you can turn on and off the location tracking individually. If you go down to the very bottom, there is a location history. Check this to clear that history and close the window and that gets rid of the cache data files for your location history. Number 14, remove programs. Another helpful tip is to get rid of any unnecessary programs installed in your system. Click on Start, go to Settings, into Apps, and take a look at this list of apps installed. If you see anything that you don't need, click on it and uninstall it. In particular, look for spam tools like search engine optimization or other bloatware applications. Those sometimes get installed when you do other software installations. If you find one you don't want, click on it, do uninstall, and that will remove it from your system. Number 15, shut down often. Never underestimate the importance of shutting your computer down frequently. Having worked in an office supporting hundreds of computers, it was clear that users who shut down their computer every day had far less issues. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Memory leaks, Windows updates, power outages, and errant software problems can affect your computer, and a simple shutdown or reboot can solve them. So there's 15 Windows 10 maintenance tips. If you have others I didn't mention, please list them in the comments below the video. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.